In this tutorial, we'll cover the basic user interface of Adobe Illustrator. So, uh, the basic layout is a series of drop downs at the top. From the drop downs, you can open a new file, um, you can create a new file, you can open a file, you can save, you can print, you can place images into a file. Uh, the next menu, you can edit, you can undo um, commands, you can redo commands, you can cut, copy both images or text. You can also paste into different layers. You can paste in front, which will paste something directly uh, from where you copied it. You can also do some additional uh, commands, change some presets and some color settings, and also this is where you can find your preferences. <clears throat> so later when we talk about units, you can change units here. Uh, you can also change different um, different user interface options. Uh, next one is object, and here we'll talk about transforming, arranging options. Also you can group ungroup objects into uh, groups. You can also um, do different uh, commands such as blend, live paint, and live trace, and we'll give separate tutorials on these later. Um, next you have type, so here you can uh, create type, you can change font, you can change the size of the font, um, and you can always go back after you've created text and, and rechange the font here. Also different selection options, you can select inverse, you can deselect, you can reselect, also, what's really nice is you can select everything with the same fill or stroke color, and stroke refers to the line line color. Um, so if you import a bunch of lines with the same uh, color, so if you import lines, for example, from AutoCAD and they're all on a layer that has red, you can select all same stroke color. You can select all the red lines if they're not broken up properly in their layers. Um, <clears throat> you can also select the same object types. Uh, so these two are really handy for selection. You can also add effects to lines, to images. Um, you have a whole bunch of uh, Photoshop effects that are the same as in Photoshop. You also have Illustrator effects, which are specific to Illustrator, and we'll cover some of these later. Finally, you can uh, view, and you can turn on your grid and, and snap to grid. You can also turn on guides, and we'll cover this later. Also, you can turn on rulers. Um, you can also zoom in and zoom out. There's uh, a, an additional command for that over on the left, which I'd prefer. Uh, but if you want, you can use these sheet keyboard shortcuts. And in the next menu, you have the window. And these are all of your palettes over on the right. So over here on the right, we call these palettes. And all of the palettes are, uh, are also in this list here. So if you want to activate any of these, let's say, for exam example, you want to see um, color, you can select color, and your color palette will then appear over here on the right. So you can access these also by selecting these icons over here on the right. So for example, we have color. Uh, you have color again, um, you have different swatches or brushes or symbols which can, uh, there's some presets in Illustrator but you can also download some. You have strokes, so these are all your line weights, line types, gradients, transparencies. Um, a little further down uh, we have layers and artboards, so layers will work a lot with layers and we'll do a separate tutorial on those, but this is where you'll find your layers. You could create new layers, you could delete layers. Finally over here on the left are your um, toolbars, so here you have your selection tool, you also have a direct selection tool which we'll talk about later. Um, these are how you select objects and text. Also a pin tool that lets you to draw. A uh, type tool allows you to type uh, text. You also have a line tool, but I prefer to use the pin tool. You have a little more control. You can also create standard shapes. Uh, paintbrush, so you can brush um, lines of different colors. You can also erase. Um, and there's some additional commands which we'll cover later. Uh, down here on the bottom left you have the different uh, panning tools. This will allow you to pan around a page. You can also zoom in and zoom out. So the first thing you'll want to do is create a new page. You've got to file new and it'll give you the option to create a page of any given size. You can always change these dimensions later. So usually I'll start with something standard such as a letter. That's 11 uh, by 8.5 page. You can also choose portrait or tabloid and you can also have a number of pages. So right now it's just going to have one page, but if you want to have two or three, uh, you can increase the number there. You can always change this later again. So I'm going to start with one, say OK, and you'll see you get a brand new page. Um, if you want to change now the page size, you can always go up here to Document Setup, select this, and then this is called your artboard here. So if you want to edit the artboard, you can select the button Edit Artboards and you can change the size here. So the width right now is 11 inches, the height is 8.5, but you can always change these values. Um, you can also create additional ones. If you hold down Shift and draw a new artboard, you can create a new artboard. And now you can see that the width and the height 
uh, it relates to the second artboard. So if I want to select the first artboard, you can see the width and height corresponds to the first artboard. Um, you can also select my pan tool over here, go back under document setup, select edit artboards. You can also delete artboards. So I could delete this one if I want and now work on just this original one. So you can always increase or decrease the number of artboards or change the document setup uh, and change the size of the artboard as well.